because it was on a Wednesday mm -hmm. and uh, Sunday the 4th of July uh, was a celebration was washed out or something then my mother said well how about just the women and the kids going out to Union Park for a day that was a, a, a real treat one one day of the summer everybody loaded up with your picnic baskets and got on the streetcar and went out to Union Park. It cost a whole nickel to go out. What I could remember of it was we left home, it was, oh, it was so hot that day. It was, and of course you dressed up in your Sunday best. You wore your best clothes to the park and then you took your old to play in. And I was all ready and I was busy waiting. I can remember walking back and forth and I was seven years old at the time. And we went on the streetcar well, we got to the park, and then we met the, the rest of the relatives there, like Ann Fern and Aunt Nell and their families, yeah. and got the, you know how you pick out a pavilion? Mm -hmm. You think which is the best? And they picked this one out, well, I guess it was, it was the biggest one. There were so many of us. used to like to go in the cave out there, and then there were oodles and oodles of swings and rides, you know. The cave wasn't the biggest attraction, but all the rides they had for kids, and that's what you really did, you know, go on all the rides. And the park was really quite long. The, the really the thing I remember is playing in the pool. Yeah, that's the it was the big thing for me, just playing in that wave pool. But it started to rain, and uh, so my mother said. Uh, you kids better get in this pavilion and get your feet washed and get your clothes on because we're going to leave the park where there's terrible storms coming in. So they all come into the pavilion and, and you know, wash their feet off and put their good clothes on. And uh, then it started to rain terribly hard. And uh, they, they, we had picnic baskets and the women all started you know, loading up the stuff. Well, by the time everybody was in that pavilion and uh, they were all ready to go, why all of a sudden... Just like that, just like a tornado, you know. We looked up and there's this great huge wall of water. It, and I mean huge well, wall of water, all mud. Just came on down that valley. And I remember her mother saying, we better start saying the rosary, we're in danger. We were, we started to say the rosary. We did say the rosary. Yeah, we started, started saying the rosary. Well, we, the, the older people start looking out after the younger people go. Mm -hmm. Because I remember my mother, see my brother was only three, she had him. And my grandmother, she had me and my sister. And we were leaning against the railing there because they, the women said, well, we have to stay on this side of the pavilion because when the water gets so high, it's going to take it, and we don't want to go on the other side because there's sewers over there, mm -hmm. and we don't want the bodies washed in the sewer. But we we in just a few minutes, I just wall of water just came down and washed everybody, body and soul and picnic baskets and everything right out of that pavilion. Graham still had a hold of me, and a big plant came along and knocked my sister from my grandmother's arms, so my sister was floating by herself, and she got caught in something, I don't know what. Of course, naturally, she drowned. And then I, I remember Grandma and I were floating, and I was busy swallowing water, and somebody reached down and pulled us up onto a plank, one of the workmen. I could swim, and, and uh, you kept looking for something to grab on to. Everything was coming. Chairs and and everything. The wood of that pavilion was all torn apart. And uh, there was a, a big tree and my youngest sister was washed up into that tree. I can remember sitting on that side and all that water underneath. And it sat and sat and jumped. So then, when the water went down, so a man came out and uh, 
took it off in that sign and carried me to shore. I, I guess I was so sort of scared. I, if I wouldn't have hung out again, I'd probably drop right in that bloody water. And that, that theater, that, after the flood just went right through it, you know. And, uh, and her mother and, and sister and little brother were washed through that theater because the water was there, so forceful that the rest of us, we were washed on down. And they were building a roller coaster out there. And there was a, a lot of lumber. There were, I don't know, there were quite a few workmen out there that day. So this lumber hit this roller coaster and uh, it slowed down the, the flow of the water, you know. And uh, all I can remember is scrambling up on the top of that, uh, that pile of wood. And my sister was there. Well, after we were rescued, you see, uh, there were these benches up on the side of the hill. And I don't know how I got up there, or even how my mother got up there, but I know I was sitting on the bench alongside of her, and she was, you know, where's Bertie at? Why doesn't Bertie come? So then my Aunt Nell came over and she said, well, they found Bertie, but she's dead. And but she said, now, don't feel bad about it. She, she said, I lost one, too. And I know my mother just really went into terrible hysterics because with her oldest child you know, and there was a bond between those two as soon as they pulled me out of the water some woman had me i think it was up to that house you know where they were taking care of everybody and they kept fanning me and saying don't go to sleep don't go to sleep and then this lady was holding me on the streetcar don't go to sleep don't go to sleep well, then I didn't know anything until I didn't know I was in the hospital. I don't even remember who took me home out of the hospital. But I thought it was so funny my mother wasn't there to be with me. And I don't know who told me she was dead or anything. But I remember the three caskets were in the living room at home. Somebody carried me in there to look at them. Yeah, it's a sad part of it is there are people that you know, were so helpful, and yet they're, now they're forgotten. Yeah. See, the, those men really never got the credit that they deserved. No, they really that, didn't. You know, saved so many people out there. Well, I don't know who pulled me out. And my grandmother, because we were still together, the two of us. I guess it is rewarding heaven. Yeah, same. Yeah.